The Cottenham Novices Hunters Chase is the final race of the week. It's a two and a quarter mile novice chase and it's only got two runners in it. And it's Batonia Hughes for Ryan Costello and Joao Will Camera for Alex Cherry. So away they go then. And this is the third race I've had this week that's had two or three runners in it. It's the first one over jumps though. And Batonia Hughes and Joao Will Camera. So I don't know how many Ryan Costello's had this week, but he's quite a few and he's got a chance of blocking up another one here as they get over the first of the 17 fences and this is really where we do need to do doing these hunter chases because he would have facts at his fingertips about Cottenham or whatever it is we are today he would be able to tell you about how they make all sorts of things probably like cottage cheese or some sort of pasties or something or whatever he just finds out these little snippets of information he'll be able to tell you exactly what that bush was as well as they get to the four and the leader Batonia who's been not jumping all that well at all on Jamalville camera who I think was around last season has gone on and now Batonia who's goes back into it again he'll tell you what those hills were called as well he'd know that Stu would we do need to get him back doing these ones because he's very educational for us all to find out all these interesting things about the wacky tracks that Gray makes point to point tracks I must admit the first time that Stu came up with all those things we were putting them in a review show I did actually have a look and see if they were right or we were just making them up because they all sounded a little bit bizarre but they were all actually bang on correct and there he is he's a man who knows his obscure race courses is Stu Gray and as they get over that next one it's Batonia Hughes who's in the lead I can tell a lot about Stu and Doug really in these because I bet they don't watch them anymore yeah, all good, good chaps and it would be good to get them both back on board properly and Doug's still doing some flat but it was used to be good when he did a few jumps as well and the Australian commentator on the jumping was always a bit different and it's Batonia who's in the lead from in second place Jamal Cameron you can see on the inside there I noticed that in this race they've got a, an all weather jumping track by the looks of it so I wonder if we'll get to use that at any point or is it just a schooling Part. I don't know. Anyway, it's still Batonia Hughes is in the lead. Jamal Camera is second. And this is maybe one of those races that could have done with having the ratings extended, I suppose, but late. Close to cut off time. And it's Batonia Hughes in the lead. Jamal Camera second. It's been that way pretty much all the way, really. So they get to the next jump. One little camera jump that one really quickly and nicely. We're inside the final six furlongs now. And now Jamal camera comes to challenge over that one. I've still got four more to take, I think. Five more. Over that one they go. And that time, Batonia, who's jumps it better now they've got four to go this is the fourth last and it's looking like another one for Ryan Costello as he's six or seven then it's clear now and barring a four I think this one's in the book at the third last and it doesn't look like it's going to fall it tapped that fence well and jumped it nicely Jamal camera is getting a little bit closer but Nowhere near close enough at the moment. There's still two furlongs to go and only one more fence to take now. There's the stand and the winning post in the distance. They'll take this right hand turn and jump one in the straight. And then a short one of about a furlong. Probably slightly less than a furlong. And it's going to be one for Batonia Who's as long as it jumps this fence okay. Comes into it and gets over it nicely. Skips away from it well. Jamal Camera is putting a bit of a spurt in but it's a little bit too little too late really. And Batonia Who's takes the final race. That was week four, another one for Ryan Costello, surely the best week he's had in the season in the in the league. And takes that one nicely into my little camera. Second. So a bit of an underwhelming way to end the week. And Batonia Hughes takes it for Ryan Costello, Jamal Camera for Alex Jerry. Well second. <laughs>